in our Hare Krishna movement, you will see all the devotees applying a tilak on their forehead. So this tilak has two parts. The lower mark is the tulasi plant, the leaf of the tulsi. And the upper mark is like the feet of Radha and Krishna. So a devotee takes the feet of Radha and Krishna on their forehead. And because tulsi is always at the feet of Krishna, so that tulsi is also on the lower part on the nose. When Krishna disappeared from this planet and went to Golok Vrindavan, at that time all the queens of Krishna, see, they all went in a lake called Gopi Kund and they gave up their bodies to go back and join Krishna in Goloka. Those bodies made the river bed or the bottom bed of the lake and our devotees they collect that clay from there which is called Gopi Chandan and we apply on our forehead, on our chest, on our arms, on our back. So there are total 12 markings of tilaka. This tilak we apply to mark our body as a temple of the Lord. It brings auspiciousness and it removes all kind of evils. Seeing this tilak, people remember Krishna and when we see ourselves, we remember Krishna. Hare Krishna.